All right, what are we looking at this game? Some silicon going on, crazy little patch of iron down in the corner. Not seeing anything I super want to use just yet. And there's stuff I can use, but nothing I really want so far. What are we looking at for carbon? It's not all that great either. It is usable in certain locations especially, but yeah. This is not a particularly pleasant map, guys, I'll be honest. It's not, not the kind of thing I'm looking for, but it is, it is usable. It's just awkward is all. Colony found in. I'm going to go ahead and get founded. See if I can just collect these resources, get the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Buying and selling done that I need. I'm a little bit slow on that front, but hopefully we'll be all right. Pushed into a lot of the steel that I require already. Ah, oh, man, other people making big buys. Unfortunate. I was hoping we'd be able to get it just a little bit faster, but... That's all right. We'll get it done eventually. Just keep buying the steel as we can. The very, very standard race on up. Ugh, iron's getting flooded a bit faster than I was hoping. Thankfully, we can sell down a little aluminum. Start pressing on through. This double iron is going to hurt us, potentially. Iron just flooded a little faster than I was hoping it would with this robotic player down here also pulling in a very large amount of it. So that's sad, but what are you going to do? We do have the aluminum coming in, at least. It's a little awkward not to have the steel just yet, and I think we're even going to need to scrap and move here on into some steel production don't want to really scrap both of these that feels awkward scavengers leapfrogged ahead of us but that'll happen bradbury says he's out of practice well yeah that happens to the best of us i'm out of practice too as it turns out but we'll, we'll try and catch up we're not running excessively far behind i mean we're kind of running Pretty even with Bradbury right now, maybe a little ahead, with our aluminum flying in as well. So hopefully we'll be in, ex in an acceptable spot fairly soon here. There you go. Get upgraded. Gonna take some risks and throw down all of our stuff right next to each other. And just see if we can grab up a goon squad to protect it. That way we're not wasting too much of what we've already done. I'm also just gonna grab this nearby Geo. Actually, no I'm not. Hold on, cancel that. Let's go for the uh, the water production instead. That sounds a bit more reasonable to me. After this, I do desperately want that goon, which unfortunately is a bit expensive, 3,000, but still usable. Still helps protect me from the EMP that I gotta be worried about. Four steel mills for Bradbury. We only ran three. That's all right. Let's go ahead and get into that glass that we require. It's kind of the next obvious step moving forward. And we should be all right from here to work on taking the rest of this game. Got to worry a little bit about power prices. We're okay for the moment. We do have quite a bit of debt, so it's not like we're going to make money from power anytime soon. So I'm not going to rush into it. We're going to wait for HQ level 3 on that. Water up at $52 a piece. Convenient for us. We're collecting water pretty effectively. On top of that, like Asimov very, very quickly moved into these reactors to try and make some cash sent that power, that uh, water price skyrocketing, and so that kind of worked out well for us, having chosen to go into this just simple high water tile. Nice and easy way to grab up Black a little extra cash. Black market again, I think, it's so tempting to grab pirates, but I don't, that water price isn't necessarily going to consistently stay up there, so I don't think that's something we absolutely need to do. I'll just take the upgrade, grab an extra geotherm location, maybe an extra water tile here, just to make sure we stay okay as we go into all this food production. Should be in an acceptable spot at this point. I'm also going to grab a mutiny for when I've got these geotherms established is the basic idea there. And hopefully we're going to be all right. I do need to get into power very quickly here. Clark is already moving into solar panels, but nighttime's on the way, so that's not the end of the world. Once again, should be all right. A little more food production would be fantastic. Got to be watching out for that. Don't want a core sample. Just not something I'm too interested in. Oh, I didn't claim this geotherm ever. I forgot about that. I took the water pump instead. So we've only got the one geotherm location. Guys, I'm out of practice. I don't know what to say about it. We're just out of practice. I'm going to need to get upgraded super, super fast now. Which, I don't really have a good way to do that besides try and utilize an adrenaline boost to pump out steel very, very quickly. This geotherm will help cover these power prices. But I'm not going to be paying down debt anytime soon, unfortunately. 
And it really would have been good to get those two geotherms established. I should have skipped this water and established this geotherm like I thought I had. Instead, Bradbury took it out from under me, which hurts quite badly. Because I expected to have that tile, and I just forgot I never took it. And suddenly, Bradbury has it instead, and he's potentially going to be in a really good spot because of it. Frustrating, to say the least. Now, I can buy up enough to maybe get down some solar panels if I wanted to and help out with this situation. I can always attack Bradbury's geotherms if I want to. And I probably will. Just to try and make sure he doesn't get too out of control, I can pay down some debt. It's not the best idea, but it's not the worst idea. So maybe it'll end up working out. There we go. Come on, work with me here. Hopefully we'll be alright. Actually managed to pay down a little bit of debt here. That didn't go well. Turn off the steel mills immediately. Man, people buying a lot more steel than I expected. At a it's hard to figure out what to do with a surplus these days. I had a lot of steel saved up. That was exactly when I did not want to see a steel surplus. Like, if there was a perfect moment for a steel surplus to not come for me, that was pretty much it. Now I'm left in an unfortunately kind of weakened position. But we can get upgraded, we can try and get some more farms down, we can look at getting more power online, definitely going to be an important thing to do before too long. Turn those back on, maybe get another quick little aluminum tile established, look at getting some silicon taken up. There's not great silicon available, but that could be just a good reason to go ahead and take it. And I guess we're going to let power go for the time being. Not too comfortable, but it lets us get all this this food online, and food's absolutely fantastic right now. I could also, I do have the option of scrapping some of this steel, especially if I'm not relying on power anytime soon. Oh, energy vault could be okay. It's not great, but it is a useful patent still. In the right situation. Because we're never, we're probably never going to actually successfully pay down our debt. So we can just kind of reduce that amount of debt with energy vault. And we do have the option of making the transition into something like glass furnaces. I am a little concerned about that. Asimov, I don't know what Asimov is up to back here. Not getting upgraded, just transitioning their tiles around. Very awkward wind turbines going on. Not really what you're looking for. He is the one that went ahead and took up Energy Vault. More power to him, I suppose. Should have plenty of aluminum coming in a moment here. We will be able to transition that into power eventually, pretty effectively. Do need to be looking at something like a patent office at some point. And that could be something to do with this tile in particular. Go ahead and scrap and moving into the patent office. We'll go ahead and boost all that out a bit more effectively. Perhaps moving into uh, just some effective things like virtual reality, superconductor, so on and so forth from there. Very, very cheap tools that should be very effective. Pirates. I hate those filthy Pirates on what? Pirates on silicon, it looks like. That's unfortunate, but what are you going to do, you know? Let's go ahead and grab up that virtual reality. Adrenaline boosting with that pretty much guarantees we're going to get it momentarily. We will also start nanotech at this point, just to keep life simple and easy. All right, got all the glass we need secured. Food is still making fantastic money, although this dust storm is definitely going to hurt that pretty significantly. Everybody else making a lot of food, too, so that's going to fall off pretty fast here. Going to have to keep an eye on things. Unfortunate to be losing the silicon, but what are you going to do? I'm glad we didn't move into solar panels ever. Especially with this dust storm around these days. Would have caused some serious problems. We are just looking for the upgrade at this point. Nanotech's already running. Could look at grabbing something like financial instruments. Clark has already paid down all his debt, which is kind of terrifying. And is making pure, pure cash right now. Maybe we'll just take that superconductor? I don't know if it's ever going to be useful, though. I do want to be using this thing. I guess what we can do is work a little bit harder. Grab something like uh, thinking machines for long term. Never really checked if thinking machines is actually going to be good. Yeah, thinking machines should be fine. Especially with mutinies available. EMPs available, things like that. 
Let's actually just grab another adrenaline boost right now. Well, silicon died. Let this be a I was hoping to get into glass, which I never really did. You. Now we can. Give me that upgrade. Give me this glass, please. We'll Throw down a little extra steel to go along with that. A slow down strike. Water's also doing fine. We're going to go a little bit deeper into water because we already checked off-world markets. They're pretty good in the water resources this game. So it seems like that should end up being quite useful. And of course, I did grab virtual reality, so I should make sure I'm making some use of that. So that is also going to be just kind of an important minor step going on. Man, power's weak, silicon's weak. There's really nothing effective for me to do with these tiles except maybe consider moving them over to ice, which I think I can do. Are those ice tiles technically? Yeah, they kind of are. I can also just, just not be pulling in silicon, make them solar panels anyway. I should have probably just left them. I wanted to make the ice transition, but then water dropped a lot faster than I expected it to. I should have just left them as silicon. We'll just put them back that way for now. Because I've got that glass production up, and silicon should be pretty strong. Alright. One second. Oh, no, the Goon Squad went up in price. Give me that money. Thank you. Bradbury's sitting on an awful lot of cash, but likely looking to upgrade with it. I'm not overly concerned about it. We are getting some freezes going on and such, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that too much. I'm just going to random hologram that tile. Now it looks like a hacker ray. I'm fine with that. Oh, silicon jumped up in price again. That was a little unexpected. All the rest of these have their uses, but I'm not super interested in any of them. Maybe just a quick little carbon scrubbing could help out. Clark, I have to be super worried about, and I have to start defending myself. And then looking to make some transitions, I think. But it's definitely time to be a... Uh... Oh no, he's going to get aggressive against somebody else. So I have options here all of a sudden. Bradbury has enough to start defending himself, which is great. We're going to buy just a little bit in there. Make sure he can't be easily killed off, hopefully. We don't have quite enough to completely defend him because, well, we've got to worry about ourselves too. But hopefully we'll be in an okay position. Get a transition done into those reactors without too much trouble. And yeah, Clark is running a little bit low on resources to utilize at this point. Slowdown strike on what? Was that on my... Pleasure Dome? It was on my Pleasure Dome. That's okay. Pleasure Dome is still pulling in a ridiculous amount of cash. Like, that's still a fantastic building right now. So I am not at all worried about it. What I am worried about is the fact that I am not making chems right now. And so let's go ahead and fix that. It looks like somebody might even be hacking them at the moment, and it would be good to put a stop to that. Okay, okay, okay. Need to make some late game transitions soon here. Extra claim could be useful. We're at 42,000 debt, not too bad. Pleasure Dome not actually making any money yet. But this this delays the money we're making, but it doesn't stop us from making money in the short term. So I'm okay grabbing a new claim for $9,000. What is that ridiculousness? Can't believe people let that go that cheap. Sell down some silicon just to grab the cash before everybody else does. Chem labs are online for a few people. I am not in any engineering labs just yet, and maybe that would be the appropriate next step for me. Just scrap here, engineering lab, maybe an engineering lab here, specifically because of thinking machines is why we would position it there. Just get that done. All right, all right, all right. We're starting to get into a better position here. And I think we're just about at a spot. Bradbury is alive, barely, but is alive, which is important. Okay, I'm going to take my cash away and start defending myself for sure. Everything is still making good money. I could be making steel, but everything else is still making fine money, except for, of course, this iron production, which I should have gotten out of a long time ago. And the aluminum production is also not great, so now is going to be the time to go ahead and make that move into solar panels. Just trying to hold on here. Ah, Bradbury didn't spend the cash to defend himself. I thought he would have had it. He committed too hard to those engineering labs. I thought he was going to be okay, but no. He did not manage to stay alive the way I expected. Now I'm going to have to defend myself. I don't know if I'm quite in the solid position to do that, but... 
That is, that is what it's going to have to be now. Boosting on all these should be pretty effective. Didn't focus the off-world because the boost has a reduced effectiveness there, so I'm just not too worried about it. We are going to auto-launch oxygen for the time being. Let's go ahead and increase the production we have available for that. Kill all the markets, which isn't a great idea because I had so much iron saved up. So we'll just buy some of that up again at the cheap price that we set it to. Buy a little aluminum while it's cheap as well, just in case. We're going to need that for launching and such. Hopefully that'll be alright. And well, we're trying to make money. And I think we're doing a pretty decent job of it for now. We just might be too far behind Clark. I did not think he was actually going to successfully pick up Bradbury. It is worth noting that we have paid down all our debt by now. Which should be beneficial. And of course, Clark hasn't defended himself at all. So if we get into a strong position against him, we are still going to be in a great spot. Potentially. Just want to launch both of those. <sighs> View plot. What are we looking at there? It's not great. We could have taken it, but it's not great. Probably should have done something about it, but oh well. Too late now. Kims is still going fine, especially because they're getting upgraded or were upgraded already, and we have carbon scrubbing available, uh, yeah. I believe. Your stock's getting sold. Who sold my stock? Did, did Clark sell my stock? I'd be totally fine with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Clark is selling out of my stock, so we're done. We're done trying to do fancy things there. Instead, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, scrap here, I think. He did build an off-world just now, so we've got to keep an eye out for where that might be. Can't know for sure. And Asimov is actually shipping off-world. Yeesh. I didn't realize Asimov had caught up so effectively. He was just so far down at the start, I didn't think he was ever going to start making it back. This was such a terribly positioned off-world, thinking about it. Like, that's actually just straight up awful. Uh, what am I actually going to do? I think I'm actually going to do this. This is awkward, but... Do that. Look at all the money. Then that. Then that. Hopefully that'll be okay. We'll just have to see what happens. Well... We're in an okay-ish spot. We do not have a lot of carbon coming in, and that's kind of a big concern, considering carbon is so expensive. On the other hand, we should have that carbon scrubbing that we went after. We have carbon scrubbing, thinking machines, virtual reality, and nanotech. And those should all be pretty great late-game tech, so with any luck, it'll still work out alright. Not making chems anymore, which is very important and good. Just trying to make all this money off steel, trying to keep the off-worlds launching very effectively, and hopefully we will stay in a strong position with that. Now, I really should be using the black market a bit more aggressively than I have been this game, especially with spies available. We can see there is an off-world market there. No slowdown strikes available for purchase, just that one that got auctioned earlier. The black market is online. 794 off that pleasure dome. Nobody doing anything about it. Works for me. Alright, iron's getting expensive. Let's get back into that at this point. And just keep raking in this money. I don't know if we're actually ahead in off-world markets at this point. I can't quite spy everything, and I'm not sure about this tile in particular. Stop auto-selling power. Gotta remember I did that, but... I mean, slant drilling's alright, but I don't want to pay 8000 for it, necessarily. On the other hand, I don't want Clark to have it either. I don't think there's any carbon I can take if I just pick up slant drilling. Like, there's no carbon anywhere close to what I've been doing. And that's the big thing I would be looking at here. It will improve things like my water income if I take it, but that's all it really improves. I don't know if it's worth this much cash, because it is cash that I'm sacrificing right now. Speaking of all these things, I should sell down where I can, I think. Did get a nice freeze up here, but uh, the off-worlds are still functional, so hopefully that's all right. Why are you randomly selecting instead of evenly distributing? I hate that you do that. Stop the auto-launches on food. It's too expensive. Let's just keep grabbing this stock while we can. I don't know if we're actually in an okay spot with Clark having taken over so much Bradbury already, but I'm hoping. I'm just hoping beyond hope at this point. Do I get aggressive, or do I just keep adrenaline boosting for now? I think I can get away with just adrenaline boosting for now, once these unfreeze especially. 
There you go. Boost those. Make sure we're getting that money pulled in. I would love to make a transition to glass. I need to keep the engineering labs functional, which I've been doing a terrible job of this game. I'm so out of practice, it's ridiculous. I'm going to take that last little bit of stock just to raise my price a bit, because long term I'm probably going to need it. And we're still making money very effectively literally everywhere. I'm worried about only having the one engineering lab, but Clark doesn't seem to have any. Asimov doesn't seem to have any. So I should still be alright on that front, if not in a fantastic spot. And then do I get into glass, or do I just go into... More oxygen, because oxygen's ridiculously expensive. Everybody's shipping so much of it. I think that's the direction we go. I've already almost doubled my oxygen production. I'm still launching oxygen here, because the game is ridiculous in how it handles auto-launches these days. Let's just launch a couple fuel. Trying to vaguely keep an eye on things, but I'm not so sure that it's going to be working out. Alright, sell down some iron. All this other nonsense. Trying to be a little careful with the silicon down here. Why do I not have... I just don't have a lot of power coming in, do I? Just two, two solar panels and a geo. Really not all that much. Thankfully, I am sitting on $284,000. The Pleasure Dome is still sitting here being like, Oh yeah, I'm still a Pleasure Dome with virtual reality, and I pretty much just auto-win the game. Because that's the state that balance is in right now. Good on you, Pleasure Dome. Making us all that money. Let's upgrade food a bit. Uh, I could upgrade glass as well, but I'm not actually making glass at the moment. And on top of that, glass takes oxygen. That's what kind of steered me away from it and toward the oxygen slash fuel production. Should have gone hacker, right? Mm. Oh well. Look at all the money. 690 is what we need, about 700. So probably that's going to push up to more like 800 before we actually get there. But that does mean we are halfway there at this point. Other people making plenty of stuff. We just got to sit back is what it feels like. We're doing okay. Cancel that. Start up those two. We'll let this one finish because it's already been going so long. Gotta be, gotta be careful about these off-worlds. Like, I think I just need to commit almost all of my attention to these off-worlds in particular. Also need to worry about that water price that's starting to get a bit out of control. I think it's time to scrap the farms for the moment. Move toward the glass. Could have also moved towards steel. Uh, that might even be a bit more effective, but the advantage of keeping the steel price high is I have nanotech and my opponents don't. So even if it's maybe worth a little bit more money, it's very difficult for them to transition. It's not very difficult for me to transition. So I think we're still okay in the position that we're in right now. Alright, just make sure we've got plenty of stuff queued up for the time being. What are we looking at? 734, that's okay, we're pushing close. We are focused entirely on Clark. Taking him out gives us most of Bradbury and gives us control of Bradbury, and on top of that, Asimov just does not appear to be successfully making money. That carbon price was so ridiculously high for him for so long that he has been struggling ever since. It seems to actually successfully bring in cash. It's causing him all kinds of problems. These were not as effective as I was hoping for. Oh, we could just make him ice condenser shoot for the time being. Whoa! Okay, he finished that blues purchase. That's going to make him more expensive, but also more valuable. So that is A-OK -okay in my book, not too worried about it. Pulling some more water and power, please. Actually, if power's going to be a concern, let's go ahead and actually move into it. Make sure we are auto-selling. There we go. This needs to be fixed, cleaned up, but the UI needs to be cleaned up literally everywhere, so I don't even know if it's worth commenting on. 981 is what we're looking at. Just about there. Don't want to grab up Asimov, even though we could at any moment. Check these off-worlds. Ah, off-worlds aren't both launching. Gotta fix that. Gotta keep an eye on those things if we're not gonna auto-launch. Would love to see auto-launching fixed. Just throwing it out there, but, you know, that's okay. 983. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Hopefully we're gonna be alright. Should be making food right now instead of water, probably. That's okay. We can make that transition quickly. Nighttime's coming anyway, so it's not like we lost anything by scrapping that water when we did. The problem is we're also making iron, which we definitely shouldn't be doing. That's ridiculous. Alright, almost there. Just basically waiting on these launches to finish up. We'll go ahead and queue a couple more just in case. Make sure we don't end up in a position where we're not launching. Because we spent all of our money on the purchase without starting that additional launch. That's very important uh, to be careful of when you're doing your launches manually, of course. Million dollars, that's all we need. Got it. 
Now, Asimov does have a fair amount of cash saved up. He's up at a quarter million, but I don't see that being a significant problem long term. I accidentally picked up an adrenaline boost instead of what I meant to. Is all my stuff making money becomes the question. Only on three off worlds. Do I have four engineering labs? Should probably do something with that. There you go. We'll upgrade chem production. Sure, why not? We're consuming a whole bunch of chems. We can upgrade chem production without too much trouble. Already upgrading power. I'm hoping that that single upgrade combined with this slowdown strike expiring will cover our costs. With any luck, that will be the case. I really shouldn't be ignoring these shortages as much as I am, but I'm just, I'm just not overly concerned about it. I could, I could boost this. I could come down here and boost this. I'm not... Not super concerned about any of it. I guess we'll just, uh, short food. He's consuming food. We're making a lot of food. This should be fine. He can't do anything about it. We just need to make sure we're not launching food and we'll be alright. Which right now we're launching oxygen. So we're okay. Alright. Sell some chems down. Some steel down. We don't need to worry about the steel price anymore. It's not going to hurt the scavenger. So there's nothing to be concerned about there. Look at all the money. Just get a few of these started. Fuel's cheap because we have so much of it right now, so that makes sense to kind of launch in the moment. There, that's plenty That's plenty of launches queued for the time being. Let's actually grab a mutiny this time like we intended. Whoa! We got blocked. Well, that sucks. He might turn that back around on us, which would be very unfortunate. I'm going to adrenaline boost here and hope that that draws the mutiny. And so we can just intercept it back again. That would be nice. Just keep working away at everything. I don't even know if we need too many upgrades, Our honestly. The trading service. Price food spike imminent. Oh, he switched entirely into food. That is something to be aware of. So he's going to be selling down pretty effectively for the time being. There was a big buy out of him. Let's kill that. Without the shortage ever even going through. And take the win. Got it done. That was nice. It was nice to get a win for today. I wasn't really expecting it, especially after this giant mistake, like thinking I had a geotherm when I didn't. Definitely would have stuck back on just the one, the one water pump if I had realized taking the two geotherms. I think the plan would have gone a lot better. But look at this hero. Look at the hero of the game right here. <sighs> Ridiculous. How much did we make off of him? Sold a million off-world, so our off-worlds were very effective this game, hence thinking machines. And then 645 in entertainment revenue. So, entertainment revenue still absolutely blowing everything else out of the water, considering that for most of that game we had two off-worlds launching, and even if all of our off-worlds were made off just two off-worlds, even if all that profit was just two off-worlds, that's still less per building than this Pleasure Dome. Just throwing it out there. Just, just, just saying. Pleasure Dome is kind of good. And it knows it too. It's being all shiny and new and stuff. Ugh, I hate that building. But I will use it to win. Black Market, Blues never got too aggressive. He did get knocked out pretty quickly. I kind of let him die there. Which ended up being okay, but wasn't really what I was after. On the other hand, an advantage of getting blues knocked out is if I feel like I'm in a confident position and I can take the lead, you get blues knocked out, right? He's created a problem for himself already by going into three engineering labs. If he gets knocked out, suddenly those three engineering labs aren't doing anything at all for black magic. Which is great, because they're not making money or anything like that. Which is, which is nice. And then the engineering labs, like, Blues never gets to turn himself into a problem by making that gamble of a play with all these engineering labs. So I think that was, even though I wasn't thinking about it at the time, I think that was actually kind of a fortunate turn of events. Just Blues not being able to utilize the engineering labs at all to have a shot at moving back into this game, because that could have created some pretty significant problems. So that was, that was definitely a nice... A nice thing for us. Okay. Yes, launching food would have been fine when I was hoarding food. That is a fair point. But on the other hand, I was also hoarding fuel. And so launching fuel made just as much sense in a lot of ways. 
<laughs> Lunarian, only four black market uses as a scavenger. And three of them goon squads. Not really what you're after. Unfortunately. Okay, guys. I think that'll do it for that one. We had a nice, simple, solid game plan of Pleasure Domes win games, and well, it did. Easy enough. <laughs>